Good morning, YouTube. Full Circle Review back here again, this time with another review. But first things first, I'm going to let you know that you're probably seeing my face and they're like, and you're like, wait a minute, who is that? Well, I am the guy here working at Full Circle Review. I'm the guy who does the reviews. And I figured it would make a lot more sense if you could actually see my face, my expressions, and how I respond to these products when I actually review them. So we're going to try this, and if you like it, please like the video. Subscribe by hitting the button in the bottom uh, left, no, yeah, left hand corner at the end of the video. It's going to help me out. Try one of the videos to the, to the right side of the screen to continue watching more of my videos. But for now, I'm going to try to do this face to face so you can see how I actually respond to these products. And also, you can insult me for my terrible wear, my attire, and my disgusting room setup, and just my habit in general. But today, we've got High Brew Cold Brew Coffee. Dairy-free, black, and bold. I'm going to hold this up where you can see it. Ooh, yeah. Even the focusing's better with me in the background. I make a great backdrop. Look at that. Now, let's see here. It says, nutritional facts, serving size, 8 ounces, 1 container, 20 calories, 1 from sugar, 1 from protein, 0 from fat. Contol contains cold brew coffee, which is water coffee, cane sugar, potassium, phosphates. It says, time, not heat. So I'm going to shake this up real good. Oh, yeah. And uh, tap the can so it doesn't explode. Let's see what we get out of this. Well, um, as you can see, it did explode. Real, real, real frothy right now, real frothy. We're going to try this out. Well, it most certainly is just coffee. Now, first thing you notice from this coffee is that it is slightly acidic. It is not the most alkaline, basic, or just traditional coffee that you would expect from cold brew. Cold brew is a process of soaking the coffee grounds overnight over a long period of time so that you can extract all the coffee flavor and more caffeine without getting the acidic, acidic acid that's in coffee. And this, for some reason, tastes acidic. This actually tastes like just brewed coffee that has been refrigerated. I'm extremely disappointed in this. It smells just like cold brew coffee would smell. But it's bitter. I can almost taste the glass coffee pot that hasn't been cleaned in three months at the church social. And this is kind of just uh, upsetting. However, it is dairy-free, so that it does promise. And it says it contains 130 to 150 milligrams of caffeine. So, I mean, this is like a, just a typical cup of coffee. Overall, I'm going to give this a 48 out of 100. I mean, it's coffee. It's in a can. It can't be that good. But this is not cold brew, by no means. Even the cold brew that you pick up at, I don't know, name a gas station could taste better than this. This is just a little bit of a disappointment. I would not recommend buying this. Don't go out and waste your money on this. Get yourself some good cold brew. Actually go to a Starbucks or even better, make it yourself at home. There's amplitude, multitude, nearly infinite number of how-tos of how to make cold brew coffee. Just don't watch How To Basic. I might actually do that sometime. But this is high brew coffee, cold brew. I don't recommend it. But that's just my humble opinion. Thank you for your time, your patronage. Please see all my links in the subscription, the Instagram, the Pinterest. Uh, uh, give me money. P feel free to donate to me. Tell me what you want me to do. Comment below what you, I should try next. I'll get it done for you because I love you and I'm waiting outside right now to caress you. Y'all have a good day. I appreciate your time.